review is of the Messerschmitt BF109. This is the G2. It is a 124 scale model uh, by Trumpeter. And uh, there you can see the dimensions. Some uh, box art there. There's another uh, painted version of it. And some pictures of the finished model with some of the details. So some photo etched parts, rubber tires, springs, and so on. So look here, another uh, version of it, and some details about the plane. So let's have a look inside. It's a very large box, and it's going to be a very large model. We've got a lot of screws here. Okay. So first of all, let's have a look in here. Here we have our photo etched parts. And these look like they're going to be uh, for the hinges. So you can have movable surfaces. For some reason here, I have two of these. We we'll only need one. But there's the uh, clear part for the instrument panel. We've got our canopy, very, very nicely molded. Great, great molding quality there. Here we have some metal rods and springs. We also have a plastic film that will be cut out and glued behind the instrument panel. Showing off some of the detail there. And then we have the rubber parts here, which is our rubber wheels. Very nice and soft. And then uh, the zippery part for the engine. typical trumpeter quality and I've been very impressed with uh, this brand. They really do put out some very high quality model kits with the pieces are very well molded and that's just junk. So over here we have our wheels. You can see here the quality. Look at that uh, panel there. It's got all the uh, recessed rivet lines, the same thing here with our engine cover, got a little damage on there, other parts for inside the cockpit, looks like part of our tail wheel, and then parts for inside the cockpit, that's the tail wheel uh, there, and probably part of our guns. Uh, looks like this one here we have some loose pieces. We have our engine block, massive engine, there's the top of the engine block, and our uh, camshaft covers, valve covers, the exhaust pipes here, and you can see that they're molded uh, to be open, which is great. Here's our uh, the uh, gear area, the prop will sit on that part of our firewall and lots of extra engine parts here all very nicely molded great level of detail see my fingers are completely all over them here's part of the cockpit and uh, additional uh, wheels for the cockpit here's our uh, control stick Molding quality is just phenomenal. Okay, this next one here, we've got our uh, rudder. 
and there's our uh, cover for the uh, radiator looks like our engine brace there's more engine parts here probably that's for the supercharger we've got our propeller and guns very very nicely molded I don't see any mold lines no flashing high level of detail really is a high quality model kit Okay, this next screw here, um, we have our uh, fuel tank, again very nicely molded, here's our spinner and the propeller hub, some of the guns, there's the cannons there, just really a great level of quality in terms of molding here. Here we've got our wheel well covers, recessed rivet lines. These must be our flaps and some uh, parts for our landing gear. These are leading edges here and our uh, elevator. Just tremendous. <clears throat> now over here we have our fuselage. And again, just tremendous quality. You can see the rivet lines. An open area here for the engine. It's a very large plane, but our um, this is our uh, elevator here. Air intake over there, and here's the other side. Looking on the inside here, you can see some details molded in. And the same thing over here. Last one here. So this one here is our uh, wing. This is the lower side of the wing. You can see our wheel well. We've got some details there, and all the edges are closed up. Amazing detail here with those rivet lines. Absolutely phenomenal. Here are our ailerons. Again, just a phenomenal level of detail. Here's the uh, top of the wing. Just so nicely molded. And then, underside, here's the uh, inside of the wheel well. So what's interesting about this kit is that it also comes with a clear plastic version of the... Uh, fuselage, if you'd like to make it visible, this one is cracked, uh, unfortunately, but it has all the same parts, if you wanted to make a clear version and see in the inside, uh, I'm not really sure why you would want to do that, because you need to paint everything, uh, and that would make it not clear, but anyway, it's there if you do decide to do that. Okay, next we can look at our decals, and really nicely printed, great level of detail here. Just phenomenal decals. Here is the uh, painting and decal guide. So there's the two different versions. And here's another version. And there's the different uh, colors if you need that. Okay, now we have our uh, instructions. And uh, here's the parts listing. There are a lot of parts. We start off with the uh, engine. Fair amount of detail there goes into the engine. All the additional parts going on there, including the uh, exhausts. 
Next we build the uh, cockpit. And uh, cockpit is then finalized. Put our guns together. And the engine, along with its mounts, are put onto the cockpit. Start to build the tail gear. Here's the rudder. And using those photo etched parts to be able to allow it to move. We start to build the side wall of the cockpit. There's the other side wall, showing you what it should look like. And then over here, we're going to put our fuselage together. And uh, you can cover the engine up, engine up, or you can have it uh, glued so that it's open. Like that. Put together our landing gear. And the flaps, guns. And uh, all the wing parts are then put together, including the radiators. And then there's the ailerons and flaps. And the wings are then assembled. Same thing with those photo etched parts, so that way they can swivel. And uh, once we've uh, finalized all those parts, um, that goes underneath. And we we'll put it onto the main fuselage. You can leave this open or closed as well. And uh, that's with it open. I like to be able to show that detail if it's available. Here's the uh, drop fuel tank propeller being assembled. And then everything being put onto the main plane. And lastly our canopy, open or closed. So, all in all, what a tremendous model. Decals are great. The molding is great. Details are great. This is going to be a great build.